Hello there, this is Sean, and today I'm going to show you how to, um, uh, yeah, get tap tap revenge taps on your iTouch. Okay? Uh, first of all, I'll just show you that it works. Alright, here. That's pretty much the same thing, I just, I went to Winterboard and set it to, um, Guitar Hero mode, but it really is the same thing. You could put it on any mode of, uh, tap tap revenge at all. Alright? Now, these are a lot of the songs I put on. I didn't put on too many yet, but here I'll just show you um, this one on the Crown 7. Yeah, I'm playing with one finger here, because I have to record with the other. But yep, it works. Just trust me here. <laughs> Alright, so, then, first thing you do is uh, you go to the link I provided in the description, and then this thing should come up right away. It says Tapmaker 2 one something one dot msi Okay, you double click on that. And then this thing comes up, and then you just click run. Alright, just press next. Really, really easy. Alright, um, now, usually you just have to press install and everything. I mean, I already have it installed. So all that stuff is there automatically. But yep. And then it should get really, be really easily installed. If you have any questions, just leave a comment. But it's fine for me. So, yep. Alright, then. There should be another icon on your desktop. I moved it to this folder right here, but yeah. And then the icon should look like this. See, it says Tapmaker. All right, pretty simple software. Okay, double click on that. And you got this thingy right here, okay? Now, you go to File, Import Song. And, uh, here, hold on. I'm just gonna go to iTunes and just uh, get a really short one so it won't take so long. Okay, this song is only 17 seconds, so I'll do that. Alright. You just drag it to the desktop. Get out of here. Okay. Now, there it is right there. It's just a song. And then, you click File. And you click File. Import Song. And then, uh, you just drag this thing right here. Right to there. That should show it right there. The most recent one. Okay, you just click on that once and then press open. Yeah, it's just a song, really short, 17 seconds. Alright, so you don't have to worry about any of this the whole time, just press pause right away. And then as soon as you press record is when it starts. So, alright, I'm like working with one hand here, so I'll do this really quick. Okay, press record, you just go. You just, you know. Press the buttons for the keypad. And that works for this. Yep, and that's it. And then once you're done, it'll automatically shut off. You don't have to worry about that, even though it says recording, it's not recording anymore. So you just press file, save tap, M for something something, I don't know. <laughs> just save tap, click it. All right, here, this is the last song I chose. Give me your hand, but that's not what we're doing. So mine's called, uh, whoa, it's like hello or something, I forget, <laughs> and then it's like fight for nothing, that's the artist, alright, this really doesn't matter, just pick whatever, however hard you think it is, that was pretty easy, so I'll just put it on medium, save song, save it to the desktop, it just makes it easier, alright. Okay. Tap file was created. That means it worked. So you press OK. Everything was created successfully. So woohoo! All right. Now you should see two files right here, or er, two icons. All right. That one is the actual song right there, and this one is the tap folder, which is the one which has the notes on it, and that's just the song. All right. Now go to your iTouch or your iPhone, whichever. Both work. All right. And uh. Yeah, you could download this on uh, on Cydia. It's just uh, how to SSH it. And I'll also provide another video in the description which shows you how to SSH an iTouch or iPhone. And then just press enable. Get out of there. It's already working. Alright. And again, you have to look at the video, but then you should download this, this software right here, WinSCP. Alright. If I haven't lost you yet, go to 
as, as soon as it pops up, it should have something like this, and then click on bar. All right, and some pe for some people, this is the default thing which pops up, as it is for me, I think. All right, so you go to, let me think here, mobile, right there, see, mobile. Double click. Then you go to applications. All right, now, you're gonna have to look through it. If you, if you look at the date right here, like the most, if you recently added it, then it should be like right, right here. Mine is the second one since I just downloaded it today. All right, double click on that. Then you see all this other stuff, and then it should come up as ttrsdk.app, and that's where it is. All right, now you get all this bunch of stuff, a lot of songs. I don't know, not sure what that is, but yeah. All you need to know is just have to go to tracks, right here, tracks. Then you go to music and you put the actual music file in there. So we're just gonna drag that on over. Right to there. Copy. All right, and there it is right there, see? Okay, then you have to go back by clicking that little thing right there. And then you go to taps. You drag this, which is just the, the actual notes. Copy again, right there. And then, I believe, if you just exit out, or if you could, you want to, st you can stay on if you want. If you want to do more songs, go Guitar Hero, or in your case, Tap Tap uh, Revenge. One player. I put it under medium since it's not that hard. And then here you go. Yeah, I'm playing with one hand, so because I'm recording with the other. So yeah, whatever. <laughs> so yep, and that's how you do it. Enjoy and have fun with it. Yep. Subscribe, please. If you want. I don't care. Alright, goodbye. Thank you.